Hello everybody, welcome to Permadeath. This is the series where I play a game on the hardest possible difficulty. And when I die, it's game over. I die once, I got one life. This is the cutscene here we're gonna skip. Now regardless of whether or not the game actually has a permadeath built in, which some games do, and I will be playing those as well. Uh, I don't have Spelunky yet, but other games of that style will be on here, on this row. So I hope you enjoy this this series. We're gonna have lots of episodes coming out here and there. Let's wait till this loads in. Okay, I have it, have it all, always pausing the game when it first loads in. I think I picked that up from Minecraft. Anyway, we're gonna turn the music sounds right down. Just because in my test recording, you were all really quite, it was quite loud over my voice. I'm gonna switch that up here. Still pretty quiet. Now this is a game that I really, really love. It's this your generic first person shooter. All, I don't know, actually it's not. I mean, if, if this was 1995, it would, it would appear to be a generic, but this is actually very fast paced and difficult. And quite a different type of game than a lot of military shooters. I guess that's what I would call it. It's a non-military shooter. It's quite, uh... I'm the kind of guy who always played Doom and actually Marathon more than anything in the game. I never played Wolfenstein. And actually I kind of got out of... was into PC gaming a lot until... in the 2000s. Okay, let's go back here. I remember playing Marathon and getting like that fast-paced, difficult games. Games that were basically like Mega Man in 3D, you know? like. Short, challenging levels, you know, health, maybe health pickups here and there. Some cool, lots of cool levels to play with. Run around and just run to die. Like, for example, here I know I'm going to die in about two or three hits. Because the end is on, what was it called? Tra trauma? Traumatic? Insomnia? I remember picking it up. It would have out. That's okay. This game is quite old. Actually, it was made in 2005, which explains why we're running into a nice, smooth... 30 frames per second. Now for the series, I'm just because I die doesn't mean it's over for every that game. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to play them in order. Like, I'm going to kind of take it out how I go. You know, I'm not going to force myself to play through a whole game. But if I, you know, if in permadeath I play a couple different games, three, four, five games, and I look back and say I want to play, play, pick up that one again, or this one, that one did well too, but this one I have the most fun with. I still feel like this is really loud, so I apologize if you couldn't hear me that whole time. I really am sorry. But other people have complained that, hey, your YouTube videos in general are always really quiet. Like, both the music and your voice is too quiet, so it's like I'm compensating for both. I, my voice is having to be low, and then I turn the sound volume down, and then they're both low. So it's hard to find a perfect balance, and I'm always working on it. And I always review my tapes before uploading, so I try to get a good run. But on the other hand, I feel like if I play a game and it, something really cool happens, I kind of want to upload it just to show you guys anyway, even if it's not a perfect voice or quality. Okay, that hit took 15 points. So, okay, so we have more than three hits till we die, but that's not many compared to how many guys there are. Oh, let's grab the body armor here. Fire sun off. I don't think there is a run button because we're always running. Actually, let me check that quickly. Make sure there's not a run button that I'm missing out on. Weapons, standard stuff. Nope, no sprint that I can see. Sorry to bore you guys, but this is also kind of a raw first impressions like. Let's start at the first level and see what happens kind of thing. You know, non-scripted. Oh wait, whoa. Where did my mouse button go? Where did my attack go? There it is. Oh, I had that launched out. See, when it's out, you can't use your main thing. But the laser beam... I thought I remembered this thing doing more damage. Like if I laser him like that. Okay, it does kind of, it does kind of slice him down pretty good. It's not really good for one enemy at a time, but if you have a bunch in a line, if I can get all three of these guys against the wall, 
Yeah, it's not so good when he's shooting on the floor, but throwing it against the wall. Okay, we can jump sideways as well as straight. Whoa. Yeah, gotta take you out. I just got to. It didn't look like a demon, but trust me. Well, this is a bit creepy. I hope you guys can hear that. It's very, uh... Is that the only thing I had to kill in there? Was that one guy? It's weird. Maybe he was supposed to be a wizard. There we go. We're down to 54 now. I got hit. I'm going to be hit, I think, three times. Whoa. Oh, from behind. Maybe I should just do this. But I feel like if I get surrounded from when I do this, I'm going to get sliced up anyway. So I'm trying to be smart about this. Oh, there, oh there's some fast ones. Take those out first. There we go. Oh, I had a good line of those, but I sort of backed out when I had the chance. 34. I still got armor. I wonder if there's a health pack up here I can find. Okay, don't get trapped over here. Take you two out. What's up here? Anything over here? Okay, these guys are slower than Minecraft zombies. I got a good pace on them. I'm escaping pretty good. There might not be... What's that? Ooh, up to 59. Or is that just a teleporter? No, that was health. I'm at 59. We're good. Can I break into any of these windows to take a shortcut? Is that, is that what we can do here? Do I have any bullets? I have 12. Okay. Good to know. I think we just have to kill everything to advance in the level, actually. I don't think we have to find the exit. It's not that kind of game. I do. I can't wait till I get my next weapon. Man, the, the, right before I started playing this, actually, I was playing. I'm um, well, I was playing Minecraft first. I made some Minecraft episode. Then I played Amnesia: The Dark Descent. Man, that game is good. It only came out today, or I think yesterday. It's the 11th. Anyway, today is the first day I could play it. And man, so far it's good. Like equal to the original good. So I'm feeling that. And coming to this, it's a very distinct change. So we've been here before. I'm not sure where to go. I might have to stop recording to see where we can find out where to go, but as we've seen from Minecraft, every time I stop recording, I have to start on it right away because something happens. I think we just have to find the last guy. Yeah, here's the new area. And then I guess we'll just follow the arrow. And there's is it you. Can you let me in? Can you, uh... No. I just gotta find you. Yeah, I had to run away for health, and that made them all scatter. Okay, that was the last guy. Yeah, they all scattered when I ran for health. But I feel like if I had stayed... Uh, I could have taken them out, out all, all right away and just beat the level really quick, but I might have also died. Oh, it's this way. You can't go in here. So we're just gonna itch your ear for a second. I think we're, we're all good. Ooh. You ever get that feeling that there's a spider crawling you out in the middle of you do something important and you ignore it at first? And then you're extra creeped out? Yeah, let's take that out. Especially after playing games like this and Amnesia where you have stuff jumping out of the ground at you. Okay, we didn't need to use break up some weapons here. Just do this close quarters, and we have 43 now. We did have only 11. Last time I pulled it out, I have 11 bullets, and I, I wanted to save it for. There we go, more useful time. But yeah, close quarters, your health is much more valuable. So I only lost 10 health there, but. If I, I just use my sword. Actually, it might have been fine. Is that the right way? Let's follow the arrow again. Yeah, that's where we came from before. We kind of looped around a little bit, and now this area is open. Another short one. Okay, I've seen you before. I feel like I want to break that vase. Any gold in there? Yeah, it's gold. Do I have to kill the birds? Or is that... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good thing I had my shotgun, but I didn't back up quick enough. Yeah, that was definitely a trap. Now these guys are heavy. See, so they have the kind of leather armor. The shield, which don't really seem to use, but it certainly makes them live longer. That's, I mean, more than one shotgun blast a piece is huge compared to the other guys. 
you were at 40. I feel like I need to keep this on the ready. Oh yeah, there's three different ways they can come. Left, right. Oh, I'm, I'm going down now. Too many. I got cornered. I got cornered there. I have my gun on the ready. I should have just left over here this way. I'm going to try to loop around and then he was just on me. Now, if I could find some health. I'm not taking any chances with you. I could pull out my other weapon, but I don't want to lower my defenses when I have this many, especially with this many bullets. Everywhere. See, the game knows, like, it's just going down. When they give you that much ammo, you know it's just going down. I'm going to be messing with you. I don't even know what you do. If there's multiple, they're going to cast, start casting spells or doing something really creepy. Maybe there's melee. I don't, I don't even know. I don't want to find out again. Is this, is this the end? Oh, that's just gold. Let me get out of the fire. Get out of the fire. Thought I beat the level for a second. That was just a... Was that a secret area? I don't even know. There's definitely kind of a scoreboard type of um, attractiveness for this game. Where it's like, get the most souls and get the most kills and all the gold and all the secrets. And I love that. I love single player games for that. And I love they have an arrow here to tell me where to go. So you don't want to waste all your time and run out of hard drive space. I feel like I need to be... I, I'm at the, so close to the end of this level. I feel like I'm right here. Okay, that was so... At least they... they oh, right from behind. I was just about to say, they at least they telegraph their attacks. But that is it for Permadeath on this episode. Tune in again. We have lots of other games in the lineup. I had so much fun with this game though. I'm so glad I, I jumped in here. I almost got through the first level. I'm sure we'll stop by again.